Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm out dragging my tire around training on the Oregon coast for an expedition into Greenland. I'm planning to do an ice cap crossing with a co-author of mine, my book, Adventure Expedition 1. The whole idea of this is we're going to cross the Greenland Glacier from the east side to the west side. It'll be a journey of about 30 days. However, how do you plan, train, and do this? Well, the first thing is you stack up some tires, you load up your backpack, and you set out. Now, as you can see, when I'm dragging this double stack tire, I'm not exactly making speed. There you go. Yeah, not exactly going to cover a lot of miles today, but that's okay. One of the things is when you're looking at doing these adventures and pushing out, is you can tell by the wind here, hopefully it's not too bad, that you have to choose to go out and train regardless of the weather, weather conditions. Now, you do have to be intelligent that you don't say, hey, uh, this is fine, it's lightning out, and I'll go on top of a ridge. Now, of course, that's silly, but you have to choose that, yes, this is going to be tough, and I might get tired, or my muscles might hurt, or whatever. When you're looking to do these adventures, you have to be willing to push and train harder because the military, I think it's the Air Force or Navy, whoever it is, says train harder so the fighting is easier. Now granted, I'm not going to be shot at in uh, Greenland or my training trip in Yellowstone, but it's certainly not going to be easy. I mean, I've been out here for half an hour, pretty parched, need to get a drink, and even though I'm covering small distances, I'll get there eventually. And that's part of this experience too, is knowing that sometimes this just isn't very easy, I'll show you there. And you might get discouraged. And I have to tell you, don't let the difficulty of the training discourage you and don't let it prevent you from doing the proper training because if you don't and you get to your location and you're not physically fit, your knees, your ankles, your calves, your Achilles, your groin, your IT band, all that stuff is super important and you need to toughen it up before you head out because if you're out in wherever you're in and you get injured, what are you gonna do? I actually had this happen on a Kilimanjaro expedition. Two of the people on the trek didn't train basically at all. The one lady said, well, I don't think I tested my knee enough. And it's not testing your knee. It is training to make sure to make sure you're strong enough because that, doing that actually put people in a bad situation where, hey, there is a possibility that we might not make it or she would need to be evacuated. Another guy had a diabetic issue and that's, that's a serious risk. And know that, sure, sure, some things happen. You certainly don't want them to happen, but don't show up, especially if you're on a team trek and you haven't tested, meaning you haven't worked out. Don't do that to people because it's not just about you. It's about the other people out there. And I'm going on this expedition with my co-author and I'm certainly not gonna show up weak. I wanna train as hard as I can. That way he doesn't show me up, but also I don't wanna put anybody else in jeopardy because it's not just the teammates, but it is the potential rescuers that have to come and pluck your butt off wherever you are. So just remember that sometimes training is tough. You might want, not wanna do it, but when it comes to five days before your event, to know I'm gonna get all the training in, that is way, way too late. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel to support it if you like this material. Thank you very much and train hard.